And so you're in the spirit speaking in tongues, calling out the demons, soap, 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 soap. And then there was no water, water, water to alleviate the impact of this soap on the school and on the students. I'm back. The Oberlin High School issue. Yes, I am back. My name is June. From a spiritual standpoint now, let us discuss what might have taken place at this school. I am no spiritualist. I am not into spiritism. I'm just offering my two cents on the matter as a Christian. I was made to understand that there are two realms of existence. One, the physical, and two, the spiritual. And that both realms exist in tandem, at, meaning at the same time. So, here we are. In a spiritual world, we humans having physical bodies. Now, the spiritual beings, they are in existence too. Now, concerning the Oberlin High School issue yesterday, my understanding is that they were having devotions. Persons were in prayer. No, and then they talk about um, persons getting into the spirit and speaking in tongues and all of those things. These things, you know, can be quite problematic at times because when we do read, we understand that there's a spiritual language different from the everyday language of English or Arabic or whatever it is, Spanish and French and Portuguese and all of that. The spirit world has its own language. And my understanding also is that when persons speak in tongues or you would say they are in the spirit, then they might be using words that are from the spiritual realms. So was it yesterday that these persons were praying that they were using tongues from the spiritual world? Words that they were calling not part of the English language, not French, not Spanish, not Portuguese, not any regular everyday language that we know, but spiritual language. So when they are in the spirit and they use these words, was it that they were calling these spirits unaware? And so the spirits came. And so Whatever they were saying in the spirit, these persons who are making these utterance, they are unaware of what they were saying. Even now, there is no one coming forward to say, okay, I was in the spirit and I was saying this and I was saying that and I was saying that. There was no one to interpret what was being said. So, was it that the words that were used were actually calling spiritual entities? Was it that they were calling these entities? entities and giving them instructions unaware food for thought could this be possible so i would say being in the spirit you're gone deep and then deep call it out to deep and then this is the repercussion persons not understanding deep messages People not understanding the world of the spiritual entities. Those entities that have no physical body. So they are related, relating in the spirit, unaware, and giving these entities instructions. I don't know. I am just trying to find a way of understanding, finding a window to creep through. To explain to myself what might have happened. And to ask you whether or not this could be possible. Persons who are highly enlightened. Persons who are into spiritism. Pe people who have understanding of these celestial creatures and these entities. I don't know what to call them. Whatever the entities were that were in operation yesterday was it that they were summoned by persons in the spirit so yes they were called unaware so persons doing all kind of things now the person who called out to them you know them no have no knowledge of what they did so first they didn't know that they called them secondly they don't know how to control nor send them back 
So whatever they told them or command them to do while they were in this trance type of thing, in the spirit, speaking in tongues, these entities were carrying out a mandate. I am asking, is this possible? Take for example, and this is just me coming up with this example. In the natural existence, in the physical world, okay, we know the word soap, S-O-A-P, soap. We know the word water. All right. Say, for instance, then, this word S-O-A-P was not a regular word in everyday language, but it was a spiritual word. So, for example, now the teacher is in the spirit and she was, who oh, bring soap, 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 soap. It being a spiritual word will be calling to these soap spirits. And then these soap spirits come and then do it, everything that soap does. Now, the teacher not aware that she used the word soap, which is a spiritual word. And then maybe then another spiritual word that she needed to counteract or combat that was water or rag or something. So she getting out of the spirit and leaving these spirits, these soap spirits, doing their thing. So there was no spiritual water, 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 water to wash away the sod from the soap. And so the soap continues to do whatever it is supposed to do. I don't know. I am just trying to find my place and an understanding of what happened. Spiritism and spiritualism and all of these isms, I don't know. But what I do know is that Jamaica has become a country where, oh, everybody is praying and praying and everybody wants to be the best prayer and speaking in tongues and everybody a mother and everybody a seer and everybody of this, that, 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 that. And so they do not understand the old concept of living in a spiritual world in a physical body. So half of us who can't even read the Bible and understand it clearly, we are the one trying to impart knowledge. We are the one trying to say, okay, we have the power to take care of this and that and that. Yet half of us don't even know about spiritual gifts. Was there anyone with the gift of discerning of the spirits? And so to be able to communicate with them. Right? In a way that the spirit will tell you that I am so and so and so and so. Yes, there are rumors say how the spirits were talking. And they were talking. But what were they saying? And to whom were they talking? I don't know. I really don't know. Share your thoughts on the matter now. My name is June. Sending you love from Jamaica.